Hello, Jennifer. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Uh, very excellent. That's pretty good. Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Carlos dos, teacher. <laughs> Carlos Vladimir and Carlos Dominguez. Welcome to the class. Hosman, good evening. Welcome to the class. I'm Melissa. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hosman. Teacher, tengo, tengo, una, tengo una duda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tell me, Carlos, what is your doubt? Fíjese que uh, hace poco recibí un mensaje de inglés corporativo que para la nueva reinscripción del siguiente mes. Uh -huh. Pero decía que iba a ser de lunes a viernes de 8 a 10. ¿Es correcto o, o, o es el, el los dos turnos siempre? Ah, ok. No sé si pidió moverse de programa. Es que hay dos programas diferentes. No, teacher. No, no, no he pedido. Solo me cayó el mensaje que si me iba a ir reinscribir para el siguiente curso. Ah, ok. ¿Puede usted eh, reenviarle un mensaje pidiendo más información que le ayude, en verdad, la persona que le escribió? Please. Ah, ok. Porque sí, hay otro programa que dura dos horas, que es de 8 a 10 de la noche. Sí, te he ah, la misma que yo ese mensaje, pero dijeron que se, se iban a estar comunicando con la persona para, para darle más información. Ah, ok, entonces just be patient, right? Pero tengan paciencia, probablemente les llegue más información acerca de eso. Y si no, pueden preguntar, ¿verdad? La misma persona que les envió el mensaje por WhatsApp, seguramente ellos les van a contestar, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, teacher. Ok, thank you so much. So, let's see, Osmin, welcome, Tricia Lorena y Cristina del Carmen. It's nice to see you tonight again, guys. So welcome to the class. Thank you so much for your punctuality. Thank you. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Cristina. And Edwin Antonio, welcome to the class. How are you today, guys? How are you? How are you? Cristina, how are you tonight? I'm great. And you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Carlos Dominguez, how are you? Teacher, I'm fine, teacher. I'm I, I little, a little tired, a little tired, but okay, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good to know. And let's see, Edwin Antonio, how is it going? How is it going, Edwin? Good evening, teacher. I'm very well. Perfect. Thank you so much. So yesterday we were talking about our neighborhood, right? That was yesterday's topic. Our neighborhood and the places in this. So let us start with this. Tonight we're going to talk about quantifiers, how many and how much. Do you have any question about the platform exercises? Before to start the class, let me ask you, have you already started working on the platform? 
Section number three. I have a problem, have a oh. problem in, in the password. In which Excel sign? In, in like activity, finally, finally activity. Ahí aparece un teacher, este, una serie de cosas que aparecen en un artículo, pero al darle a seleccionar, este, me tira que está mal. Ok, um, we studied yesterday this, right? Give me a second. I'm going to show you which other answer in that part. So, just give me a second and I'm going to share with you my screen for you to see what are the right answer in that article. Sure. Is this one? Is the last exercise? Is this one? Yes, teacher. Okay, now here you can see the answer. So, there are inexpensive stores, there are big apartments, there are gray markets, there are nice restaurants, there are many different cultures and there is good public transportation. Carlos Vladimir, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. It's in the section three. And rewrite the scrambled sentence. Uh, I don't understand, teacher. Can you help me, please? Yes, of course, I can help you. Just give me a second. Uh, Osmi, is it okay now? Ahora estoy verificando, teacher, pero bueno, le, le había seleccionado, incluso me hice seleccionarlas una por, por una para probar y igual me las tiraba mal, pero voy a probar así como las tiene usted, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Y... I'm sorry, in that activity, if you have one mistake, uh, or, okay, I, I say in Spanish, uh, si, si con solo un error que tenga la respuesta, le va a dar todas malas. Yes, o sea, si solo right. pone una respuesta, este, si solo pone una para probar si está bueno, igual le va a dar malo. Tienen que estar todas eh, correctas para que le... Me marque todas correctas de una vez. Ok, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you, helpful information. Thank you so much. So you can see on the screenshot, sure. or you can see not on the answer. What's mean? Yes, teacher. Uh, take on a screenshot, or uh, take not. Okay, teacher. Okay, is it okay if we move to the section number three? Oh, sorry, the other exercise. Yeah, 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 I'm on the screenshot. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you, Osmin. So, Carlos, tell me which is the exercise? Uh, Carlos one or Carlos two? Carlos Vladimir, what is, is in this one? Uh, section three, section three. Mm -hmm. uh, option D. Section three D. Yes. Okay, I have in the section number three, I have these. The, I have this sector sign, and we are, have already discussed this, and then I have this one. Much or many? No, teacher. No, it isn't. Then, and this is the last one. If not, El examen you de medio curso, que son es, que no, dicen. you are telling me about the about the meter exam. Mm. Here we go. Let's say a look of this. In which part? 
Ahí Le está. digo exactamente. Sí, estoy en la sección 3. Eh, sí, en la sección 3, la pregunta número D. Eh, rewrite the scrambled sentence. Ok, rewrite the scrambled sentence. Rewrite el framework. Es, eh, es donde hay que colocar las palabras en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones. Obtenidas. Ok, es this one. Ok, rewrite the scramble sentence. So, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Yes. So, this is the first one. Um, ok, so, I have dinner, often TV, I watch an after. Any volunteer who wants to help me, what is the right order of this sentence? I watch TV after dinner. I watch TV often after dinner. I watch TV often after dinner. Good try, but no. I, I watch TV after dinner. Okay, then I have this. I often watch, watch TV, TV after, after dinner. dinner. The second one. Do you ever drink coffee in the evening? Okay, do you ever drink coffee in the evening? In the last one. Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Okay, Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Then let's click on 10 and 20 points of 20 points. So those are the answers, Carlos Vladimir. I often watch TV after dinner. Do you ever drink coffee? And the last one, Jeff yes. doesn't exercise very much. Solo la segunda tenía más contestada, teacher. Thank you. Ah, okay. Good. Okay. Congratulations. So you are already working on the meter exam. And what about the rest of the class? ¿Ya tomaron el meter exam? ¿Cómo les fue? ¿O todavía no lo han hecho? Espero que les vaya muy bien. Don't forget that you have to complete this section, section three, and also the meter exam during this week. So keep that in mind, please. Let's start then with tonight class in tonight class is about quantifier and also the equation how many and how much so let me share with you my screen let me know please if you can see it welcome to the class number c quantifier how many and how much can you see the presentation yes i see it yes yes Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. This is the lesson objective for tonight. In this section, we will take a look at quantifier to equation and give out answers. Let's start with this small conversation. It's pretty safe. It's pretty safe. What is the meaning of this sentence? It's pretty safe. Anyone has an idea? Pretty, pretty. What is the meaning of pretty? Bonito. Okay. Mm. Bonito, yes. And what about pretty, say? Es una bonita vista. I don't know. Una bonita vista. Bueno, en ese caso, it's pretty safe. Significa, creo, es muy seguro. Ok, excelente. Es, es bastante. Es muy seguro. It's pretty safe. What about your neighborhood? Is it pretty safe? Yes, yes it is. It's, it's pretty safe. Ok, that's great. Now look at this girl. He is uh, new in this neighborhood. And he is talking by phone with, let's see, 
Nick and Pam. So she is Pam and he's talking by phone with Nick. Hey, Nick asked this question. How do you like your new apartment? Oh, she has already moved. She has moved to an apartment. How do you like your new apartment? Then, ¿Qué tanto te gusta tu apartamento nuevo? How do you like your new house? Then, I love it, she answered. It's downtown. So, it's very convenient. Downtown, what is the meaning of this word? Downtown, it's downtown. Centro. Okay, thank you. So it's in the center of the city. So it's very convenient. Why do you think it's convenient to live in the downtown? Why do you think it's convenient to live in the center of the city? Would you like to live in the center of a city, of a big city? Yes, because you have near to maybe a, a supermarket, drugstore, and hospitals. So it's fine. Okay, very good. That is the pro, right? So you have a lot of facilities, right? So everything is near to the neighborhood. And what are the contracts? ¿Cuáles son los contras de vivir en el centro de una ciudad? I think it's because the noise, the cars, you know, all those things. Okay, excellent. So the noise, the traffic, eh, okay, good. A lot of people there. No parking lot could be another problem. So let's continue. Uh, taking a look at this conversation. So it's very convenient that downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. En el piso número cuánto vive? Fifth floor. Cinco. Is it cinco o quinto? Quinto. 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 Okay. Quinto. How, how many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Now, what is the meaning of in fact? In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. De hecho. Excellent. De hecho, hay un lugar coreano. Es excelente. Just around the corner. So what about parking? What about parking? Is it difficult to park your car in the downtown? Es difícil encontrar parqueo en el centro de la ciudad. When you visit Santa Ana, San Miguel, San Salvador. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult. Yes. Okay, and you say, well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Okay, is it safe to leave your car on the street? Yes. Is safe? Really? It's not safe. It's very safe. Okay, then it's, it's there much crime. It's another question. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back later. So what do you think um, about her car? What happened with his with her car? Sorry. What happened with her car? Maybe the other person fit his car. Okay. Her probably, car. Okay, probably somebody crashed her car or they are trying to open it, right? So let's listen to this conversation. And here we go. Let me know, please, if you can listen. How do you like your new apartment? Can you listen the conversation? Yes, teacher. Sure. Yes, yes. listen it. Okay, perfect. So here we go. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. 
It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, what about that expression, hold on? What's the meaning of that? Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back Espera. later. Espera. Yes, that is wave. Espera. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, now let's pay attention to this. Much noise. Let's see. Very convenient. Then I have this other one. Let's see. There isn't many, many parking lots. So these are quantifiers. Right? We use them with countables and uncountable nouns. Do you remember which are countables and uncountable How nouns? Do you like your... Count nouns too, or not count nouns. That is another name for these. Count nouns. Which are count nouns, do you remember? Count nouns. In English and in Spanish, there are nouns that can be count and there are another that can be count. Let's see, for example, noise. Can we count noise? Is it count nouns or non-count nouns? Non-count nouns. Okay, oh, we can't count this. What about crying? Crying, can we say one crying, two crying, three crying? Count or not count? Or countable count. or uncountable? That is not count noun. So let's say a little of this quantifier how many and how much? Are there many restaurants? This is a yes no question. Are there many restaurants? Then the answer is yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there aren't none. So with count nouns, we can use a lot para decir mucho. Sí, hay muchos. Yes, there are a few. Sí, hay unos pocos. No, there aren't many. No hay muchos. No, there aren't any. No hay ninguno. No, no hay ninguno. No, there aren't none. No, no hay ninguno también. Then we use how many for countable nouns. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. So how many cuantos, right? It means cuantos, but with count nouns. Con nombres contables utilizamos how many. Y estas expresiones que están acá, a lot, a few, and many, any, and none. With no count nouns, for example, this question, is there much crime? Is there much crime? Hay mucho crimen allí, ¿verdad? O actos criminales, then yes, there's a lot. Then we can use a lot in both counts and no counts nouns. Then instead of a few, if it is a non-count noun, we are going to say a little. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. Instead of many, we are going to use much. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. So we can use any with both, right? In a negative answer. No, there aren't any. No, there isn't any. And no, there's none. We can use none. Just take a look of this. Los nombres contables pueden ser plurales. Are there many restaurants? Los nombres no contables siempre los vamos a tratar como singulares. Is there? So, is there much crime? And the question is, how much crime is there? One, two, crime, and I, I. So, there's a lot of street crime. 
hay mucho, ¿verdad? Se dan muchos actos criminales. There's a lot of crimes. It isn't say at all. Do you have any question about this part? Questions? Question, okay. teacher. Okay, host, no question or yes? Yes, no question. yes, question. Sí. Ok, en español. Eh, o sea que el, el count out lo vamos a utilizar para responder, como usted dijo, más que todo lo que es uh, cuantificable o numérico, ¿verdad? Así es, lo que podemos contar, ¿no? Okay. Es contable. Ok, um, y, el, y el no como cuando, pues, digamos ya, lo que, no, bueno, lo, sería lo contrario. Pues, o sea, lo que, lo que solamente se puede expresar, por así, así decirlo. Es. Lo que no se puede contar, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, any other question in this part? Thank you for your question. Sí, sí, Tell me, Karen, you. Stephanie, Yo tenía what is your question? Una pregunta de Annie y la otra de no, 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 que no, no hay ninguno. No. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuál es como la diferencia o en qué momento puedo utilizar Annie o, o no? Ok, as you can see, you can use Bob, right? Eh, no there are any, no there are none. So, here is up to you, right? Which one do you want to say? It means the same. Significan lo mismo. So, no hay nada de eso. Then, are there many restaurants? No, no hay ningún. No there are none. O no there are any. So, it means the same. So, you, you decide which one do you want to say. And you can use Bob, right? Any and none in count now and no count now. How many and how much? Is it clear now? Yes. Okay. Any other question? Oh, just you must be careful, right? When you want to use any, the sentence must be negative. No, there aren't any. And if you are going to use none, the sentence is an affirmative. No, there are none. No, there are none. We don't need not. If you want to say none, then ya no utilizamos este not. Right? So there are none. Person, Adonai, what is your question? Eh, yes, teacher. Eh, solo una consulta. ¿Verdad que según lo que se viene en la pantalla, el, el how knows, siempre estoy, estoy, premo el ar, ar, según lo que dice aquí. Y en ese caso, el knows, solo ocuparíamos que es el is. O sea, para hacer cualquier pregunta. Ok. Give me a second. If I understand you saying that with count nouns con nombres contables, we're going to use plural. When you say, are there many restaurants? Hay muchos restaurantes. And with not count nouns, we're going to use much. Is there much crime? Or how much crime is there? So many is para contables, much para no contables. Is that your question? Okay, question teacher, gracias. Okay, okay, that was your question. Any other question in this part? Okay, if you don't have any other question, let's see this information. Quantifier, some of them quantifier, you have a lot, a few, many, any, and none. And for non count quantifier, I have a lot, a little, much, any, and none. So don't forget about this, right? We are going to use it in the next exercises. Para los nombres contables, tengo estos quantifiers. A lot, a few, many, any, and none. ¿Qué significaba a lot? Who wants to help me to translate this phrase? A lot. Mucho. Thank you, Cristina. A few. Poco. Algunos. Ok, poco. Many. Algunos. And any. Ninguno. 
and none. Ninguno. Ninguno, Ninguno también. Then for not count noun. Para nombres no contables utilizamos los siguientes quantifiers. A lot, a little, much, any, and none. And a little sería un poco, much, mucho, any, nada. And none, nada too. So let's see this. Oh, this is the map that we were studying yesterday. So, are there some grocery stores in this city? Are there many grocery stores? Grocery stores in this map? Yes, there are. There is. Ah, yes, there are. Okay, a few, a lot, any, none. Which one can I use? Uh, a few. A few uh, grocery stores. Okay, you say there are a few grocery stores. Thank you. Now the question, how many, how many grocery stores are in this city? Then it's a number of how many quantas, how many grocery stores are in this city? There are two grocery stores. Thank you so much. So how many parts are there in this city? There are one park. Okay, there is. There is one park. There is one park, very good. So what about traffic? How much traffic is in this city? There are no traffic. Okay, traffic is an uncountable noun or non count noun. So you have to say there isn't Say, there isn't there is, traffic. There isn't any. There is any none. Okay, there isn't any traffic. Thank you so much. Then let's see the next exercise here. Let's complete these sentences using much or many. Can you help me, please? Number one, there is many much noise, noise. Or much noise. Much. Chris is saying much. Yes, you're right. There is much noise. The second one, many. There are many restaurants. Okay, perfect. There are many restaurants. Countable. Uh, crying. Much. 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 There is much crying. And number four, there is much traffic. Much. There is traffic. any. Okay. There are many. There is many traffic or much traffic? Much traffic. Okay, traffic is non count noun, so there is much traffic. Number five, there are many, many, many. Will be many, many apartments. There are many apartment buildings. Thank you. Any volunteer to read these five sentences? Who wants to try? Yeah. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. So let's start. There is much noise. There are many restaurants. There is much crime. There is much traffic. There are many apartment buildings. Excellent, thank you. Thank you for your help. Let's see the next one. So we are going to complete the sentence using a few, but a little. We need to use these two quantifiers. There is pollution. Count noun or um, count noun. A little. Okay, it is not count down. So we use a little. Thank you. The second one, there are shopping center. A few. A few shopping centers. There are a few shopping centers. Let's see number three. There are a few schools in the neighborhood. A few schools. 
there are a few school in this neighborhood. Perfect. Number four, there is a little traffic. A little traffic. Okay, a <coughs> little traffic. And the last one, number five, there are traffic lights in the city. They are a few. Okay, thank you, Karen. Any other opinion? A little. A few. A few. A little. A little. A little. A few a is few. the answer. Traffic light. Semáforos. In the city. Si podemos contar los semáforos. Traffic light. Yes, we can. So there are a few traffic lights in the city. Any volunteer to read these five sentences, please? Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Evelyn. There is a, a little, no sé cómo se dice, pollut. pollution. Pollution. Okay. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in the in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There is there are a few traffic lights in the city. Okay, almost perfect. Very good job. Just this word. Sure. Yeah. One, one question. Uh, what is traffic light? Oh. Traffic light, eh, semáforos. Ah, semáforos. Okay. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Light. 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 There are a few traffic light. Light. light in the city. Light. Perfect. Now we are going to complete this in isn't any or aren't any. There are taxis in this part of town. There aren't any taxis in the in this part of town. Thank you, David. There aren't any taxis in this part of the town. Thank you. The second one. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any traffic. Number three. There isn't public there transportation. There isn't any public transportation after 9 o'clock p.m. And number four. There aren't any parking space. There aren't any parking space. And number five. There isn't any crime. Thank you, Francisco. There isn't any crime. Anyone here to practice? Yeah. I have a question. Public, public, tra public transportation is not like a bus or train or something like that? Yes, it is. That is so, public transportation. So you can account that or no, or yes or no. Oh, in, in this case, no, we cannot count that. It's the name public transportation. So one public transportation, two public transportation. So we can say that. Public transportation. Um, okay. okay, thank you, Jennifer, for your question. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the sentence. Any volunteer to practice? Me, teacher. Okay, I have Anna. Anna, do you have a question? Oh, or do you teacher. Want to read? Me, please. Hola, teacher. Give me a second, Carlos. Thank you. Anna, tell me. Do you have a question? Ah, okay, yes. Uh, then let us send Anna and then Carlos. Okay, ladies first, Carlos. Okay, Anna, can you please read the sentences Teacher. from one to five? Yes. Teacher. 
solo una consultita, uh -huh. ¿Cuál, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Fíjense que cuál sería como la, la eh, digamos, n es ninguno, ningún, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y non es ninguno. Así es, también. Así sería. Uno es ningún Ajá. y otro es ninguno. Así any, sería. Ajá, any y non significan lo mismo, ninguno. Ah, nada. ok, ok, yes. Okay, okay. Eso quería saber. Okay, Ana, thank you for your question. Would you like to read the sentences? Okay. There aren't any taxes in this part of town. There isn't, isn't any traffic. There isn't any public tra transportation. After 90 p.m., uh, there aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. Perfect job. Thank you so much, Anna, for your help. Carlos Vladimir, it's your turn. Can you please read the sentences? There aren't any decisions in part of sound. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking space. There isn't any crime. Thank you so much. That was perfect, Carlos. Super job in this part. Thank you. Then let's go with the next thing. Break up room practice. We are going to practice this, right? With your classmate, you are going to share this answer with them. So you can take a screenshot or you can take a picture or you can take note of this question. Question number one, how do you like your neighborhood? How do you like your neighborhood? Then you say, I really like it. I love it. I don't like it too much. I don't like it at all. So how do you like your neighborhood? You are going to answer this question with your classmate. ¿Qué tanto te gusta tu vecindario? I like it. I love it. I really like it. The second one, is there much noise there? Is there much noise in your neighborhood? Then you say, yes, there is a lot. Or oh, no, there isn't any noise. Or oh, a little. Yes, there is a little. Is there, is there much pollution? Is there much pollution there? Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Then you answer yes. Teacher, a question. Yes. What is your question? What is pollution? Pollution, okay. contamination. Thank you. Okay, yeah, let me fix this right there. Second. And E is missing in this question, is there, okay? So let's see the next. Number four, is there much garbage? Is there much garbage? Hay mucha basura en su vecindario. Then you are going, yes, there is a lot. No, there isn't any. How many schools are there? How many schools are there? You say, there are two schools. There is one school. There are four schools there. How much parking lots are there? ¿Cuántos parqueos hay en su vecindario? You say, How much parking are there? You say, there isn't any parking. Space. And is there much crime? Is there much crime? Then let me know if you are ready to practice with your classmates. Are you ready? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me discuss about let this talk about your neighborhood with your classmates. So let me see. I'm going 
to prepare the breakout rooms. So give me a second. We are 21 today, so we are going to make. Seven group. Okay, here we go. So share your answer with your classmate. Here we go. Sandra, no, me, do you have a problem to enter the breakout room? Samuel is sad. Do you need any help? Okay, Samuel, I understand. Don't worry. No problem. here because sí. it, it's very sí. safe. Sí. Mm -hmm. Por pasado al Carmen, no. Eh, Merliot, la sabana. Ah, sí, obvio. Super sí, chido. it's very safe. Um, sí. And I love bueno. it. Okay. Sí. Is there uh -huh. much noise? Mm, what is noise? Ruido. Uh, uh, yes, there are. Yes, there is. Ah, yes, there is. Uh, because much? Be, much? because uh, uh, very much because uh, mm -hmm. the uh, is, uh, the traffic, the traffic, a uh, transporte público. Um, bus transportation. Uh, ¿Cómo? Bus transportation. Bus transportation and uh, uh, driving the principal street. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I understand. Here is not a, is there a, a few noise? Because I don't, I don't live in the principal street. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Qué bueno. Okay. Very good. Yes. Third question. Is there mm -hmm. much pollution? Yes, there is. Okay. Here, oh. um, there isn't non-pollution. 
Ah, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or there is a few, a few pollution. Ah, okay. Well, okay. In, in, in this case, in soya pango, it is a very much pollution. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the fourth question, is there much garbage? What is garbage? Uh, um, basura. Era. Basura. Um, yes, there is. There is uh, a few, a much. Well, in in my in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. eh, there is a few. Okay. But in the center, soya pango is very much garbage. garbage. Yes, I mm -hmm. know. Eh, here, um, there is a few garbage. In your neighborhood. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many schools are there? Mm, well, uh, there are uh, like, no, bueno, there are uh, many schools. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here there are... Uh, let me see one two there are two two schools near my neighborhood ah okay mm -hmm. uh, and in in my neighborhood uh, there are uh, many uh, many public school mm -hmm. okay okay uh, how much parking lots are there Mm, are in any parts oh, okay do you live in um Hello, Francis Paul Hosman Fatima. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. We finished. Yes, teacher. Okay, that's great. So, can I ask you a couple of questions? Let's see. How do you like your neighborhood, Francisco? How do you like your neighborhood? That's the first question. How do you like your neighborhood? I love yes, it. I, I really like it. it. I really like it. And what about you, Hosman? How do you like your neighborhood? Just like a neighborhood. Okay, I like my neighborhood. That's like great. It. And let's see, what about you, Fatima Noemi? How do you like your neighborhood? I like my neighborhood okay excellent so let me ask you is there much pollution in your neighborhood uh, La, no like no there isn't no there isn't any no there isn't no, any there isn't any okay excellent francisco daniel what about your uh, neighborhood is there no much no there isn't any no, there isn't any. And Hosman? No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. Okay, that is a clean neighborhood. So let's the next one. Schools. How many schools are there in your neighborhood? Yes, there are a lot. Oh, there are a lot of schools. Schools. Mm -hmm. 
in Hosman. Jiderada Law. Jiderada Law is cool too. That's cool. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, Fatima Noemi, what about in your neighborhood? Let's see, is there much garbage in your neighborhood, Fatima? Fatima Noemi. Uh, uh, is there much garbage? Um, no, there is any. No, there isn't any. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for your answer. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Hello, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Did you finish practicing with your classmates? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, that's great. So, yes, as they come. Okay, Crisia, what about your neighborhood? Is there much pollution? No, there isn't any pollution. Perfect answer, I think you also. Ingrid Vanessa, is there much garbage in your neighborhood? No, there isn't. No, there isn't any. In, let's see. Hosman, is there much traffic in your neighborhood? No, there isn't traffic. No, there isn't any traffic. Any traffic. Okay. So let's see, Ana Martinez. Is there much crime there in your neighborhood? There is a lot. There is a lot. Okay. Perfect answer. Thank you. So how many? How many supermarkets are there in your neighborhood, Eulise? Um, there are one supermarket. Oh, no. There are two supermarkets. There are two supermarkets. Thank you so much. And let's do the other question here. Is there much? Tell me, Yamilet. Yes, teacher. Tell me. Uh, is there much noise in your neighborhood? Uh, what is noise, teacher? Excuse me. Okay, who wants to help Yamilet? What is the meaning of noise in Spanish? Ruido. Ruido. Okay, thank you, Christian. Let's go, Ruido. Carlos. Ruido is the adjective. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, yes, there is a lot, a little. Uh, very much, teacher. Okay, then you say a lot. There is. Yes, there is a lot. Okay, there is a lot. Okay. Okay, I say noise is an adjective. That is not true. Noise is a noun. Noisy is the adjective. I'm so sorry. Noisy is the adjective. Noise is the noun. Okay, so do you have any question about the nice class? Question? Quantifier. Pregunta, do you have any question? No, teacher. No? Okay, very no, good. No, teacher, I'm okay. Perfect. Then, if you don't have any questions, we are going to finish the class here. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. 
Don't forget, please, to continue working on the platform exercises. Remember that you have to complete the section number three, and also you have to take the midterm exam during this week. Okay? So you have to do that work Thank during you. this week. Okay, okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.